You know, we know about deer season and duck season. You can only hunt certain animals in certain times of the year. But here in Arkansas, it is now open season all year long on lots of animals considered predators. And as TSV 11's Roly Hoyt shows us, we interact with these critters a lot around here. Yeah, Craig, coyotes in Arkansas better look out. This could be the worst thing that's happened to them since the Acme Roadrunner trap. You are now allowed to hunt a list of furry creatures on your own land because of the threat that they pose to birds that nest on the ground. Raccoons, possums, uh, red fox, uh, coyotes, things like that. It's not exactly big game, but the state says you now have permission to hunt these critters on your private land. What it is going to do is give a private landowner the ability to manage on a local level if he feels that predator populations are, are high and may be impacting his, uh, his ground nesting birds in the area. Coyotes and possums like a quick meal that they can get from a quail's nest. To manage that, you can now set traps or hunt them with a special permit. There doesn't have to be a set season and importantly, no set hours. Be able to uh, harvest bobcat, coyote, skunk, um, possum, uh, and raccoon day or night. Hunting when they're out and active. There's not a critter crisis, but the commission says the rules need updating because... The days of every little boy running around with a Davy Crockett hat are long since gone, and even fox hats are hard to come up with. That's why Game and Fish needed to come up with new regulations. Years ago, people used to trap animals for, for pelts, and, uh, and as that has gone out of style, there's not as much money involved in, in trapping animals for pelts. This is mainly designed for rural areas. Check your local laws if you're in the suburbs or even Little Rock itself. It may not be allowed. If that's the case, remember this advice to keep the not-so-friendly furry types away. We still recommend the number one thing is remove all the food sources uh, and, and make sure those animals are not welcome. Special thanks to Al at Fletcher Bensky Furs when a reporter comes knocking on his door asking to borrow a hat. Meanwhile, Game and Fish expects to have the free predator control to permits available by later next month.